What's up? What's up, man? How's it going? Yo. Going all right? Hey, hey, hey. We're back on another week. Another week, another country. Another, another group of boys of talking about that country. Where do y'all think we're going today? Do y'all remember from last week? Louisiana? South America. Yeah, Louisiana. We're going to that that place. <laughs> the place I've been. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, we're not going to Louisiana, okay? Uh, we're going to Belize. All right. So we're going. I could go. Not too Good. far from here. Oh, we could right. walk there if we wanted. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if this is your first time watching us, first time saying you're scrolling through things and you say, Belize? Oh, okay. I'll check them out. Look, this is episode, I think this is episode nine. Maybe 10. Nine, 10, nine. somewhere around there. Um, so we're going to every country in the world. We're doing a ton of research about it. Each episode takes about four months. To produce, approximately for to us to research produce, properly yeah. and get all the right <laughs> facts. Um, no, we're lying, but we are going to different countries. We are taking about four minutes to research them. <laughs> so I was lying about that part, but I'm your host, Jeff. I'm joined here with Matt, the co-host. What's up? We got Justin, the audio technician, audio producer, hey. audio mastermind, the whiz kid, as we call him, <laughs> and Jason. The video switcher producer extraordinaire. That's pushing buttons. <laughs> He's pushing buttons, but hey, it's harder than it looks. Your fancy computer gear. We got, all this. <laughs> we got all hands on deck for this one because, hey, Belize, again, another small country, but good big, value, I feel. Big hopes and dreams and big. Oh, man, I was waiting for a joke there. It was, it was because now, Belize. You better, you better Belize it. <laughs> Ain't nothing to sneeze oh, at. Oh, we'll, we'll get into the corny <laughs> Belize believe things. But um, so Belize, let's get into the rundown. So the capital is Belmopan. It's a new capital. So the old capital used to be Belize City, which is still like the biggest city. Okay, yeah. But they created their own capital after, I think it was like a hurricane or something that I don't know, back in the 60s, 70s, sometime, mm. sometime a long time ago. And it didn't take out Belize City, but it impacted it quite a bit. So the leaders decided, look, we need a, a capital that's a little more central. So that's where they moved to Belmopan. It's about the size of Vermont. So a little bigger than some of the countries we're used to. Right. Um, you know, maybe Equatorial Guinea. I'm already seeing some similarities with Equatorial Guinea. Capital move to the interior. Small U.S. state. <laughs> I think uh, Equatorial Guinea was like the size of Maryland. So, hey. Very similar. Yeah, Very similar. They're, they're, they're the same place. <laughs> same, so, same. That concludes our episode. If you want to watch our episode on Equatorial Guinea. Um, did I say whether or not I was going to Equatorial <laughs> hey, we, we, Guinea? Well, no. I mean, I'm, like, did well, I say no? Well, We'll CG that in, okay? We have like a an animated frog that we made that, that's you that comes in. And... C Hello, my CG Matt. Hello, my the WB frog. Yeah, it, it's, it is a WB frog. So WB, if you're watching, don't sue us. But hey, we needed something to have for Matt. You know, just a little that's something a little, a little more exciting. Okay, so 400,000 people. Nothing to scoff at. Not, not a small... You know, not a not a micro nation, but still small. Um, interesting fact about Belize: they speak English. It's the only Central American country that speaks English, and we'll kind of find out that Belize is it's different than a lot of its neighbors. It's more kind of Caribbean than Central American. So a lot of Sp Central American, they're they speak Spanish. Belize speaks English. A lot of like the makeup, it's. It's different where Belize is a, a lot more like Creole, African influence. Oh, so that's kind of what makes a difference. But they they kind of identify more as like it's closer to like Jamaica than it is to its neighbors like Mexico or um, Guatemala. Guatemala. They also do speak a lot of Spanish just because of the influence with their right. neighbors. So Spanish is common. This is kind of a weird one, but it's one of two countries to have a human on the flag. Huh. What's the other one? I don't know, <laughs> <laughs> but great research. That was probably the next sentence in that Wikipedia article you looked up. Yeah. Well, hey, I'm looking for the juicy facts. I'm looking for the meat 
of the story, not oh, what else? <laughs> Who cares what else? They're one of two. And you know what? When we get to that country, then we'll say, oh, oh that was the other one. <laughs> no, I, I did look it up. I just forgot. <laughs> All right. So don't don't cuss me out after the show. But yeah, I, I thought that was kind of weird because you would think that I feel like with state flags, they have there's like humans or I don't know. Some of them, I but think I mean, of any flags. Michigan's got a two deer on it. It's pretty cool. I guess Doesn't Virginia's got a human. So. Doesn't Florida have? Is this like a half America? man, half gator like thing? A isn't it? Or something? With like a mouse? There's like a mouse too. <laughs> That's Miami's flag. All right, we don't count them. They're a separate place. My, Miami does its own counting. One, two, three, four. <laughs> <laughs> we already said it's in Central America. It's, it's by the Yucatan Peninsula. Not sure if it's technically on it or not, but it's next to Mexico and Guatemala. There are islands, though. So there's 400 islands that make up Belize. Wow. That's, that's pretty interesting. Most of it's on the mainland, but they have a bunch of, you know, scattered ones around. I don't know if they're inhabited. I don't know anything about them. I would assume not. If there's yeah. that many of them. I mean, I'm sure some of them, they probably have a couple decent sized islands, I'd imagine, and then some rocks. I've heard that's where you go, though, is like get to Belize leave the city and go to whatever island or oh, really? you go to the island did that's where like you know it's just it's awesome there versus you're gonna have an okay time in the city it's like in a crime and it's okay yeah but like yeah i haven't heard much about the like metropolitan areas the cities of yeah. belize but yeah you when you think of belize you think of the the shore and the the blue waters yeah which speaking of it's some of the bluest waters in the world. Even when you see it on a map, like if you go to Google Maps and you look at Belize, it's like dark blue, and then right around Belize, it's like Just aqua. Because right. of the sand. Yeah, I don't know why. I mean, well, I don't know exactly why, but I think, and look, I'm no, uh, the expert. I'm no expert, but they do have the second largest barrier reef behind the Great Barrier Reef. So maybe the barrier reef has something to do with it, but um, you hate diving though, so yeah, you'll, you'll never, never see it. I feel like yeah. both both barrier reefs are dead to you. Again, if I don't see a barrier reef, no big deal. <laughs> He'll go It'd be sea. cool to see. He'll go to Sea World and get the experience. Yeah, yeah, you can see all kinds of coral and beautiful <laughs> things at Sea World. It'd be cool to see this barrier reef. If I personally die and don't see it, don't care. If you haven't seen our last episode, Jeff is very afraid of the water. <laughs> Shark hey, dam, a shark <laughs> damn near took his leg. You would be too. So watch the last episode if you haven't. You know what? I'm going to, just to prove to you guys, I'm going to get my my scuba license just for fun and then never go scuba diving. <laughs> Good, prove us right. <laughs> yeah, but I still got certified, yeah, so that has scared. to count for something. Because you're yeah. scared of I mean, you went into a pool. It doesn't mean anything. You could have been sitting in five feet of I just water. won't go to a barrier reef, but I'll go scuba diving somewhere else. How about that? <laughs> Where are you going to go scuba diving? In, in Lake Travis. <laughs> that's gross. <laughs> hey, well. That's probably scarier than scuba diving in the ocean. I, w I don't think you'd see shit in there. Yeah, exactly. So it's, it's dead bodies and more sunken party boats. Sunglasses. Yeah. It's more dangerous. And then I'll say, look who's laughing now. I'm the one who's certified, <laughs> and I'm not going to go to any of those other places on principle. This is kind of like your OJ, your Sunny D thing, isn't it? <laughs> I'm a man of principle. That's That's true. And I have 35 more years until I can drink a Sunny Delight. I, I heard about that, but I don't remember the, the backstory. Yes, what happened? <laughs> so I was drinking a Sunny Delight, and my friend... Sunny D? Yeah, okay, Sunny D. Sure, <laughs> if, if you go with the slang version. Clarify. I'm, I like to call it by its proper name, but I was Tang. drinking a Sunny D. <laughs> Someone was, was talking about how they, like, they killed monkeys testing it on... on Monkeys? I don't, like I was like, why would you? How would you test a sunny delight on a monkey? On a monkey. <laughs> I mean, how but someone just said how that, could and they I go, resist? okay, I could, I could go my whole life without drinking a sunny D. Not that I, like I'm not a super animal rights fan. I was just making a statement. All right, <laughs> I like fuck sunny D. I could go my whole life without drinking that shit. And my friend, dead serious, looks me in the eye and he goes, "No way." He's like, "There's no way you can go your whole life without drinking a sunny D." I'm like. Dude, it's not like a Coca-Cola or like, I don't know, like iced tea or something. I was like, dude, that's easy. Easy. Yeah. <laughs> and now after I made that bet, so he made a $10 bet. 
at first it was until I was dead. And then I was like, well, I'm not going to see the $10. I don't have a chance of seeing it. So we amended it until I'm 70. So I'm 35 now. So halfway there. Halfway well, there. Kind of. <laughs> well, yeah. You have that so, sweet tang one day. I'm just counting down the days until I can have it. How many what if someone, do you have? I'm sorry, I don't want to, it's kind of technical, but like, what if someone tricked you and put like, doesn't some, count. Some little, oh, I have okay. to drink it on my own okay. will. Okay. And there's been multiple times where I've been close. <laughs> I, I was close where I was just like, fuck it. I'm going to, I don't know if I've had something to let in the last 10 years. Right. So exactly. Oh man, I've got, I've got a gallon of it. In my I saw it in juice. your fridge I and I was like, God damn it. Juice. I had to shut the fridge. So, you really have some? That's why it came up. Yeah. He was, it was like new year's. He came over and, uh, he said something about it. My sister made a joke, and I I said, but "Close you your goddamn Sunny fridge." Delight. My Sunny D. You drink Sunny D. Uh, yeah. Uh, what am I? Do you really? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know anybody still drank Sunny D. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've even seen Sunny D in a grocery oh, store. And I've seen. Oh, I see it. I walk by that aisle, and it's like Jeff oh, does. The, Jeff does the DX. <laughs> suck it to it. <laughs> suck it. It's, it's tempting. Down. Dude, they got all kinds of great flavors yeah. now. If I didn't make this bet, I probably would have not had Sunny D in the past. Anyways, yeah. What, I made the bet when I was 18, so what, 18, 15, 17, 18 years. I probably would have gone this whole time with having Sunny D maybe once or twice. But now every time I see it, you oh, it's it. it's hard. <laughs> that sweet, sweet tang nectar. Sunny D was good, though, but... Look. The, the color, it and the, it's, it was how it was marketed, one. I mean, the shape of the container. Oh, yeah. dude, and I used to chug that shit when I was a kid, like... Well, yeah, that's true. They used to have the, the packs from Costco where you'd have, like, the end it was almost like a i don't know a 12 ounce serving that was individually packaged oh yeah yeah, yeah. the little guys yeah yeah well you'd take them i mean back in the day it was like one of those for matt for matt's lunch, lunch. Like lunch. yeah yeah that's lunch yeah that's that's what i had that's what i was drinking when i made the bet i was drinking one of those did you ever mix sunny d with anything else i think we used to throw some sunny d like we were fucking wackadoos with like kool-aid and shit like we would always at least our kool-aid was never just one flavor pack it was always two we would double up the sugar and so occasionally we would throw in some Sunny D in there. I too. think that's, is that, that's called Florida style. Called, yeah. What they call it? Jungle juice? <laughs> Double the sugar. Monster, monster, what was it when Double you sugar like Kool-Aid two pack. A hurricane. That's what it was. Like a hurricane when like you a mix brass all monkey? the flavors. Like a brass monkey. What the fuck is that? Funky monkey. Uh, 40 where you put orange juice. You drink, oh, you drink a 40 down to the label and then you put orange juice in. I don't think I ever knew that. The whole Beastie yeah. Boys song. That's yes. what they're singing about. That's what the it's Beastie about. Boys, they'll tell you all about it, man. I would think somebody from Florida though would be against a fake orange beverage. Yeah, yeah we didn't hear the real stuff. That. So I mean, much orange juice. kids because it was like you know it was advertised as like the space. Drink. I thought y'all were tang. mixing it with like four loco or something like that. That made more sense to that me. That didn't come out till like ten years oh, ago, well, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I never mixed it with anything because I made the bet when I was eighteen, where I didn't have enough time to even like. I mean, like we were drinking them, but I didn't have enough time to even try it. So. There's been there's been several times where I'm like, I'm just gonna get ten dollars and mail it to my friend now, cause. But I've made it this long where it's like, dude, I'm I'm good. I don't need Sunny D. There's a pattern though of you making these kind of bets. Like I could go my whole life without ever doing a. Or you want to make a, a scuba diving bet? Is that what you're I saying? Think, uh, I'm kind of thinking we do thirty dollars. No, that just gives I'm Jeff thirty dollars. You'll never go your life. Yeah. I mean, Being scuba certified and enjoying it. It has to be something he wants. Oh, yeah. I know, but it, but you know the phrase the phrase comes out. It, I would. I he's didn't think I would get this much backlash. I, I was just saying. What about Belize? I think who talked to us. All I was saying is. I'm I'm not scared of scuba diving. I just could care less if I do it. Yeah, that was the, that was my initial reaction, and then now it's <laughs> ooh hot topic subject on the country boys. Look, I'm gonna I'm gonna get I'm gonna get scuba certified and show you all. Let's do it. No, actually, I bought I'm not. a lotto ticket. For that's that's way so. more effort than I'm willing to put in. But um, <laughs> all right, back to Belize. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, okay. Some of the best I delight banter <laughs> I've heard. <laughs> so it's mostly forested, undisturbed, tons of animals, tons of jaguars. They have a jaguar sanctuary. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, lots of monkeys, birds, you know, all your Central American favorites. Toucans. Toucan um, Sam. But it is actually a good place for seeing animals and... Um, you know, with it being very 
very undisturbed, very, it's small, but you know, there's not a lot of big cities where a lot of Central American city or a lot of Central American countries have at least like a good amount of cities. There's not really a whole mm -hmm. lot in Belize. Mm -hmm. So probably a good place if you want to go catch a Jaguar uh, running around. Again, like our last episode, Bahrain, British colony. That's why they speak English. One of the things that they do have, so if you're visiting there, there's a ton of Mayan ruins. So the Mayans were there. Um, and it, like we always think of like Cancun or some of those places that have, right. you know, the big pyramids, but there's a ton there. So I feel like that would be cool if you were visiting. One thing, this was, I don't know, 10 years ago maybe, but John McAfee, the guy who created McAfee Security. Antivirus. The antivirus. Antiviral. Yeah. I don't know. Do, do you guys know about him? Oh, yeah. he's crazy. Yeah, yeah. But I'm he's, trying to remember. I can't remember. I think he died a couple years ago, but he yeah, had this he run of crazy shit. Like this guy was out oh, yeah. of his mind. Right. But he was hiding out in Belize. So some, I think the story was he was investing in some like, like a gyrocopter, like some sort of like personal aviation thing, like vehicle. Uh -huh. And somebody who was like one of the early testers or, it was before it really got launched onto the market. Somebody crashed and died, and he was basically held liable because you know they didn't fully test out this gyrocopter, whatever the hell it was. <laughs> um, so he basically fled the country because he had this this suit or lawsuit. This like, but it was you know criminal, I guess, because like he could have got he could have been facing a lot of time in jail because liability, liability, yeah. and all this stuff. He had some tax issues too. Yeah, it was yeah. there was tax. There was there was like, I think there was a whole. Compounding shit. He was a lot of stuff. He was a sketchy dude. Yeah. So he goes to Belize, which I guess he couldn't get extradited to, or I don't know. He had a reason of going there, but he's in Belize. And then he gets even crazier. He has this like compound. He has like underage women from this town that he's in. He has bodyguards who are walking around with like machine guns. Oh, shit. And some there was some dispute. So he's on some island in uh or it's like I don't know. One of these islands, one of these beach cities or villages, and something happens where like his neighbor, they had a dispute and they like shot the dog, and then I think the neighbor goes missing or dies. The, the neighbor was found dead. Yeah. Yeah. So he was found dead, and it was over dispute of like a dog coming onto the property or like being too loud, like the, like some crazy stuff. But after that, this guy was like he was on the run, and like hiding out and all this shit. And it was just like, dude, what kind of, yeah, what kind of maniac? That guy was wild, man. Uh, there's a documentary, I think on like Netflix. Oh, is called, there? Yeah, yeah. It's, Did it's, that come out not too long ago? It was a c couple few years ago, something yeah. like that. Yeah. I feel like that's what I remember starting hearing. More but uh, yeah, no, he was, he was a crazy bastard and fled to Guatemala or something like that. And yeah. Well, he was in Belize and he went to Guatemala and yeah, then he was like running. missing on the all run. The, all the evidence pointed to him or his crew. Oh like, yeah. Going to his neighbor's house and killing him and Jesus Christ. covering it up. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, and then when you think back of like every computer, it's like, oh, McAfee antivirus. It's like, wait, this <laughs> that guy. maniac is the guy who made this thing. But, what is it with white, uh, yeah, white businessmen going to Belize to set up shop? I had like an old boss, it was like a small business entrepreneur guy, and he was like, yeah, I'm going to set up a an office in Belize. You're going to come out and help me set it up, and it never came to fruition. But it was, it just seemed like the the place that. Uh, it's shady white business guys go to to set up small businesses. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's it's probably something something with the legislation or like tax rules or yeah. I don't know. I'd imagine there's a lot of loopholes that you can get by because mm -hmm. there's not a lot of people there and it's it's, it's kind of like even, even for like tourism like, like you don't really know a lot of people who go there. It's it's I don't know. Yeah. I'm sure there's reasons, but you probably have to be in that loop to know. Do they do cruises stop at Belize? Yeah. I swear they I do. think so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, port? I feel like I've seen that on a port of call before. I just feel like it's not as tourist it is, you know, like it's right by Cancun, but everybody right, goes right. there. I'm pretty sure it's on like one of the, you know, like one of the major routes. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm sure they get a lot of tourism, but yeah, there's probably some sort of loopholes why old McAfee was down there hiding out. But um, yeah, it was crazy. Just there's just pictures of him with like his shirt off with like, Machine guns. Machine guns and like, days. like, <laughs> yeah. He had like a bunch of wives that are, you know, 17, 18. It's like, dude, this guy's, this guy's a maniac. But, um, <laughs> interesting. So that's, I don't, I don't know what, I think, I think he moved back to the States and then he tried to run for president or something. And then, oh, I don't know. 
passed away a couple years ago. But sounds about right. Yeah, he's about him. he's he's crazy. <laughs> Culturally, we said it's very diverse, different than its neighbors. One crazy thing is there's a bunch of Mennonites who live there. So it was an English colony. Mm. I don't know exactly when they got their independence, but probably in the last 50 years, like all the other English colonies. But there's a group of Germans who moved there who were Mennonites who basically were like, I, th I think they have it in, I don't know, Costa Rica and some of these other Central American places where it's like a little village or, you know, a small part of the country is ruled by these Mennonites who are going there for, you know, their own uh, personal freedoms or whatever. But right. yeah, that's like the, the biggest majority of white people aren't British. They're these German Mennonites, which kind of grew. But it's also the only place where you can see like non-white people in, you know, German Mennonite clothing. So they have like, like almost like, you know, Amish people, but everybody else or in that area, it's not like by the cities, but everyone in that area is kind of adopted it or become Mennonites. So it's Interesting. like, okay. like usually when you think of like Mennonites or, you know, Amish, it's like the whitest people, but here it's like all these like diverse <laughs> people still doing that. So huh. that's kind of a weird, uh, a weird minority that they have there is this Coming big Mennonite. <laughs> yeah. And I, I still don't really know what a Mennonite is. They, they used I was to be. I ask you. I don't <laughs> It's like Amish. Like they're right, basically right. Amish or. Yeah, I get the general. But similar. It's a difference. But. Or is there one? I don't know what about their religion or whatever makes them Mennonite. I don't, I don't know what the difference is or what their beliefs are. But hey. Um. So we already kind of, you already kind of made the joke, Belize, that everything, looking it up is like, Belize, you mean, Belize this. You can't, you can't talk about Belize without saying it sounds like Believe. So it got me thinking, <laughs> what's the best song with Believe? Don't Stop Believing? Uh, yeah. You have, do you believe in life after love? Share. <laughs> Ooh, I believe You're I unbelievable. I believe I can fly. I believe I can fly. That's a good one. That's a great one. Um, don't stop believing. You already said that. What a fool believes, doobies. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Do you believe in magic? Be, yeah, Michael Michael McDonald getting way up there on that one. That might be the best song with believe. What a fool believes. Second one you believes. said. Yeah. You're unbelievable. Oh. oh no, yeah. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> uh, don't stop believing. Yeah, I'm not. I think we said that one, didn't we? No, no, no. I, he's asking what the best, oh, what the one, best is. one is. Best song with believe in the title or about believing. I don't think enough people. Do you believe know in the miracles? Isn't there a song? Oh, Everyone yeah, knows the talking. share song. Yeah. Dude, that was I the mean, first song to use auto tune. Mm -hmm. Not about first. Was it the first one? I, don't, I think. No, I mean, it was the first like. Big song. It, like after that song, everyone started using it. Country Supergroup Alabama Say, was using auto tune so in the 80s, actually. Yeah. There's something similar <laughs> to it. The, vo the vocoder came out in like the 70s or 60s, 70s, something like that. Yeah, it was a similar yeah. effect. Yeah. But yeah. for. I think the, the actual product Pro Tools, like the Antares Pro Tools, I think it was Cher the first time. I, I, I saw. Cher brought it back. They talked about it. Cher recently, brought it mainstream. Where it was like <laughs> used. Because it, it was developed as an effect to, to fix pitch, and it's supposed to be uh, transparent. So you're not supposed to even hear it that it's there. Yeah, it's supposed right. to be subtle. So it's but like, when hey, you they're a good singer. crank the shit out of it, then it like jumps to a pitch very unnaturally. And that's when people were like, oh, wait, that could be used as. I wonder if too. if they were just recording it and Cher just was like sucking. They're like, we got to turn this <laughs> turn bitch up. up. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, oh, actually, that sounds good. Like, yeah, I don't know. But I feel like that was the first song where in the, I don't know. So is that your vote, the share? No, song? fuck no. Okay. That <laughs> just Whoa. sounded like you really liked the share. I, song. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go with R. Kelly on this one, dude. I believe I can fly. Yeah. I mean, the best aside from song his, with believe in it. With believe, yeah. I mean, I, I, I hate. Don't stop believing. I think. It's yeah, a I'm with you song. there. I like Journey songs, but yeah. that song is just. Well, I'm gonna it's go. Overkill, but it is. I'm gonna oh, say love and spoonful. Sure. Do you believe in magic? Do you believe in magic? Yeah. Okay, it's a good one. I don't know. Maybe it's not the best, but I can't. The journey one is just like, you know, I, you it's hard it. to get on the journey. Yeah. Yeah. It's just <laughs> a lot. I'm going to say what a fool believes. Ooh, that's, that's a that solid a good one. one. Yeah. Matt, what was your Michael choice? McDonald. Oh, I, don't, I think the share one's pretty good. Nice. <laughs> well, that song's well, pretty. What, I, I just I just typed in believe blank query believe uh, and share popped up first. So. 
So that's the best one. That is, so yeah. Matt wins. According, <laughs> according to Spotify. But if you type in believe in, you're going to get believe in. You're not going to get believe. If I try, type in believing. <laughs> Uh, believing no, there's a, there's a song called Believing by Strawberry Guy. Strawberry <laughs> Guy? Don't know, don't know that that is, but is that like Guy Fieri's son? Mm. <laughs> His like redheaded child. <laughs> Strawberry Guy. Um the other thing that was kind of kind of interesting, and I don't know where I read this. I don't even know if this is true. This is like when you when you want to talk about bare bones research, this is it. <laughs> it was like half of a sentence on something. I just wrote it down, but <laughs> Apparently, how the, and I don't know, if, I don't even know if they, everybody does it, but I just read something that said, Belizeans, they lock thumbs is like a greeting. So like, like that, I guess. Interesting. I don't know that anybody else. Which I've that. never, I've never seen. But we said, what's the best belief song? What's the worst greeting that you hate when people do? Like physical, like high five, fist bump. Like uh, the old the, Roman handshake where you grab their forearm. Kiss on the cheek. Kiss on the like cheek. The, you don't like the kiss on the cheek? Not when it's I coming mean, from I guess you. It, well, yeah, I ain't kissing you on the cheek. Well, bro. that's why I don't like anymore. it. <laughs> anymore. Yeah, the kiss on the cheek, I think. The gruff. It's a little. That, uh, you don't like my gruff? It's a little aggressive. <laughs> How many French people are you? <laughs> Just what I'm saying. I don't like it. It's not, it's not me. <laughs> it's me. What did I see? Somebody, I don't know. There was somebody on the red carpet or something like that. There was a video of somebody on the red carpet that got, somebody got kissed oh, yeah. in, by a reporter and then got, and like he freaked out. I, I can't remember who the heck that was. It was just recently. <laughs> Anyways. Um, I don't know. Like, I, I hate when it's like an exaggerated, like high five, hug, hug back. Thing. Like, like when it's too much or when it's too much of like a secret handshake or it feels like that. Right. That's kind of, Fresh Prince. Annoying. Me and my brother. Especially when, like, like, you don't know somebody. That was just just me and my brother. I I used to love that, yeah. But I was just like, you know, that was an inside thing. You're not going to go up to somebody randomly and do the Fresh Prince thing if they don't know what the heck you're doing. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I mean, it's going to be a real friend. I wasn't a fan. I hate how awkward it it got because for the longest time it was just literally, like, shake your fucking hand. And then it it became all this, like, 9,000 other things. So, like, if you're going to shake somebody's hand at a party now, like, they'll probably give you a fist or they'll, like, no, we're hugging here or whatever. Like yeah. It gets, it gets awkward. It is It is behind. awkward now with more, I don't know. Yeah, there's more ways of greeting where yeah. it was It was before just the, how you doing, bud? And that's yeah. it. Yeah. Good firm <laughs> handshake. <laughs> uh, I, I'm a fan of the, the pat on the back hug. Yeah. 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 No, I, don't, I think a pat on the back hug, straight up handshake, fist bump, anything else. If you're trying to lock thumbs with me, okay. Whoa, now. Whoa. Are we about to have a, a thumb wrestling fight? Or That's what I feel. If somebody in Belize is like, hey, <laughs> hey brother. Whoa. I don't I don't get that. But That's a weird one. L- look, you got to let us know if that's real or not. Because I feel like this was like a like comment on a message board on like the last comment. Like just some bullshit. But I, I mean, who would make that up? Why would they make that? I up? don't know. Some idiot on the internet. To make but... you look like an asshole next yeah. time you go to Belize and try and pee. <laughs> Pretty hey, sure. Uh, try and uh, thumb uh, somebody. Uh, uh, we hugging? Okay. Uh. All right. So food and drink. They kind of have a lot of Caribbean food, a lot of plantain, stewed chicken. They do still have some of like the Mexican influence. So you, um, you can find tacos and more right. kind of Yucatan Mexican food, but. Not there wasn't really a lot that stood out as like super Belize food, Belizean. kind of just a mix of the region. Is that what they are, Belizeans? I think so. Yeah, that's pretty I, cool actually. Yeah, I like saying kinda that. Kind of like that. I'm a Belizean bitch. I could be wrong, <laughs> but <laughs> if you're there, we already talked about the uh, scuba diving, the coral reefs. Well, except if you're me, um, <laughs> there's a big blue hole, so it's like a giant sinkhole that a lot of people go to. And scuba dive into? Is this um, in the ocean or is this? Yeah, it's in the ocean. Yeah. I wrote down shit scares me, though. Gibnut delicacy, but I don't know what that is or why I put it. <laughs> so we'll skip that. Gibnut? Gibnut. Oh, I'm looking it up right now. Yeah, let's see if we can. Oh, it's a 
It's a rodent. Yes. Okay. Now I'm remembering. <laughs> so they, it's like a, yeah, some sort of varmint, uh, ratty delicacy. thing. They cook it. And it's a delicacy. Oh, is it like a, a guinea pig? I so think, but pretty, I think it's like a muskrat. Like it's like a straight up rat. In, in, well, maybe like a guinea pig. I feel like it's cute enough to eat. Where you're like, okay, like a rat that it's like, you know, some sewer monster. Like uh. it's it's a, like a spotted rat looking thing. Yeah, interesting. Looks like a guinea pig. Okay, well then I mean, maybe I like, was. It's it's not. Is it cute? Yeah, kind of. Yeah. yeah. Would I mean, you eat it? That, so if you I put mean, a bag over its head. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. So yeah, maybe I was wrong. I did, yeah, this is so again. I see a picture of it roasted, just like straight up the whole thing was roasted. Like they put it on, a, on a stick. Stick and. I was thinking it was like a like a muskrat, like some sewer rat. But hey, if it's cute, I feel like that's the thing with animals. If it's like, if it's cute, it's tasty. If it's cute, it's tasty. <laughs> Chickens. I mean. So I heard in Peru they do uh, guinea pigs, right? Yeah. Somebody told yeah. me that, Kui. and then a, yeah, a friend went out there and ate a guinea pig, and then we were joking around that it's like actually not a thing that they just tell tourists that <laughs> to, to see them eat guinea pigs. Yeah. Uh, now I'm wondering how true that really is. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They call it kui. Guinea I would because it's like the noise they make. Is that what they told you? No, because they go kui kui kui. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'd eat a guinea pig. I'd eat a what are they? A gib nut too, but uh, <laughs> I don't know. Just eating rodents seems mm. seems weird. Just wait till you get hungry enough. Yeah. I, uh, hey. You're well, not everyone diving, else is scuba you're not diving, diving, I'll be eating, for it, so. eating some, <laughs> gib nuts. some gib nut. I just pictured it to be some like street rat type thing. I don't know. So what do y'all think? What's your verdict on Belize? Matt? I mean, I'd go. It's the Caribbean. I'd go. Yeah. There's zero red Islands flags. And Definitely go. And yeah, it's yep. not like there's anything, you know, they speak English, so you could feel pr fairly comfortable yeah. getting along, you know, making your way around. McAfee's gone. Currency, whatever. <laughs> Old man McAfee, McAfee yeah, can't man. hurt you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I feel like, we, yeah, it'd be you really cool to. Take McAfee's compound. If you right? find his hidden Bitcoin. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, that's the other thing. He was He was looking in the jungle, or apparently he was looking for some sort of herb for like, like a. Guarana? Like a sex oh. pill, or it was like some sort of like. You know, Interesting. Okay. longevity gas station pill, but he was looking for this ingredient, <laughs> like harvesting it in the jungle there. Gas station boner pills. Um, but yeah, no, I I, I think for sure. Mm. Yeah. Who doesn't want to yeah, eat I, a eat a gib nut on the beach while you're mm, getting a foot massage, <laughs> getting ready to go snorkeling or diving, and yeah, no, it sounds to Jeff on land because he's scared. <laughs> he and we have our certifications. All locals to rag we on. all have our certifications, and he doesn't. <laughs> and we're <Yeah>. so happy. <laughs> so. Hey, I'll be there with my gim nut and <laughs> daiquiri, <laughs> my daiquiri, and living it up. Um. All right. Well. Cool. I think that's yeah. a another unanimous one. We, we need to we need to go to somewhere that we wouldn't go. So I have a couple. <laughs> Or, or maybe that we wouldn't go. Maybe we would, but we've had some easy verdicts on at least this episode yeah. and the last one. Yeah. So I think we'll go to somewhere that's look. I really don't know anything about this place, but um, we'll see how it is. So I think next we go to Djibouti. <laughs> Djibouti. And getting fruity. Yeah. What up with that? Booty? I don't know if it's cool. <laughs> I don't know if it's. I don't know anything. Where's so. Djibouti? So it's in Africa. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah. Um, Been waiting my whole life to get that. It's kind of by Ethiopia. So on the okay. east coast of Africa. But all right. So that concludes another another successful we didn't ripper have any fires. episode. <laughs> of what? what? No fires, no successful episode. Yeah. Place didn't burn down. We're still here. And um, yeah. Did you hit record? Oh, oh shit! shit. <laughs> um, so Not yeah, me. well, now I think I did it before. So yeah, whatever, well, don't put that evil on me. <laughs> don't blame Jason. Blame me. Um, so all right, we'll we'll see y'all in in Africa and Djibouti. See you on the other side. <laughs>